I believe these are the correct. Dude, dude. I believe this is the oh, correct layer, but. I'm oh, the dungeon look. master. Reneth, what game are you gonna <laughs> run for us tonight, Reneth? Oh. Well, I don't know. I, I forgot to prepare. <laughs> so we look for I like the one where we're playing 40k and we're a squad of orcs. We're, uh, we're actually see there were these. Wah! Oh, here it is. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the hunt for uh, Babushka's vodka. Oh, snap. Um, I'm gonna have to turn that off. Camera's gonna we look... We gotta know where this is going. Camera's gonna look fucked up unless Waffle turns his camera on, so the camera's might just be fucked up. Let me check this later. At least you can see my forehead. No, it's this oh. one. Oh, that was close. It's not this one, is it? No, it's not this one. Pretty sure it's this one. That's the one. If that was the one. If Waffle's camera's on. Last one. <laughs> anyway. Sort of. The last one? No, it's because Waffle's camera's not on and I'm not showing video participants to avoid my uh, my stream that I have up. Because I have to see that for some reason. I can't just not see that. Like, they should make that just... Not be seen. It's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Double check with these on. Oh, hey, that one works. Yeah, that one works. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, Out of the hot seat. Woo! Crusader. <laughs> or, I should say, Sigismund. Uh, what did you learn in Same thing. Campfire Chat? Uh, we learned that the druid is going to parry the dragon. That there is a bunch of purple robed cultists looking to make a deal or something, or steal the dragon sword or something. I don't know. Up to something nefarious that the druid doesn't like. Okay, and he's asked us to brutally murder them all. <laughs> With as much prejudice as possible. Um, Pretty sure those are his exact words, yes. And then, uh, after that, he'll tell us how to find the thorn whoop thing that's causing issues in the woods. No, he didn't. And then after we deal with that, he'll tell us how to get to Kragma. No, he didn't say you had to find the thorn stuff. No. Uh, He's... if Waffle... We have to suggested it. Uh, Varaxis asked for something, and if Varaxis wants that, then he has to come back at a later date. <laughs> Uh, oh, with, with knowledge of what that um, whatever the thorns are he just wants more knowledge about those thorns and then when he is uh, finished here he's probably going to go back to the forest or to Neverwinter Wood is kind of what it said alright Anya what did you learn oh. and Corby He just did a really good job, though. <laughs> um, the mother, all. mother of the plagues, is the one that was. Uh, there you go. Nice. The, the one with the causing it. Words. Yeah. Causing it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I enjoyed having all that over the week. That was a fun little lore dump at you guys a little bit without wasting time here and just lecturing. Um, anyway, when we actually left off was post that conversation. Uh, you had that conversation when you were over in, uh, the Druid's tower, or the Druid's tower, the Druid's, like, house that he is staying in here. Um, he sent you after the cultists, which you guys were traveling through the town toward them, and then you, uh, encountered some of the ash zombies, which you sent toward what looks like a, a spider's nest and then uh, got into combat with said spiders there are two of them uh, Sigismund and Varaxis were both uh, caught by like a web blast at the end of last session and I was not caught you weren't? no I was caught sorry my speed is zero I'm not restrained correct you're grappled you're not restrained you have zero speed. Um, you guys could use your actions on your turns to try to do something about said webs. Um, where am I? There I am. 
Uh, it is the top of what would be the turn order, which makes it Anya's turn. Okay. We are on the wrong map. Oh. I was just going to say, can we... Of course. This one. You guys are in the bottom right. My bad. Where am I? Got you. Okay. And this is a spider? It is, yes. Obviously. I mean, come on, look at that token. It's exactly what spiders look like. Let me see. Just look at my spear real quick. See. Yeah. The charges I have. Nice. That's a big spider. Damn, he grew. That's a big spider. Who <laughs> cast um, enlarge? I'm officially terrified. Hello, fuck off with your enlarge spell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking triple cast enlarge real quick. Just pop, pop, pop. Uh, in case you guys need to know your turn order, it is Anya, Varaxis, Kalia, Sigismund, Corby. Okay. I'm after you. Uh, well, noticing that uh, companions have been uh, mm -hmm. at least temporarily restrained, or not restrained per the rules, yep. I'm going to throw my spear and teleport to it. To this it's, spider. Got you. It is 15 feet up. It is marked as 15 feet up. Okay. I have these awesome tokens that you guys can uh, find on the Rule 20 Marketplace, by the way. That's true. The token markers. Alright, I finally get to use my Anya dice. Do it. Roll your attack. Not 18. Oh, shit. Where did I put the spider? I'm going to use my. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Um. So that's a, that's a 26. And I'm going to use a booming blade. Uh, here's my cheat sheet. Booming blade. Got it. There it is. Uh, two and five. Seven. Uh, oh, six. a 25? You said you rolled a 25? That actually misses. I'm just kidding. 26 I said. Oh, no, uh, I totally totally hits. Uh, I just was just found their their sheet is all. Um, Got gotcha. you. Uh, so that's going to be 7 and 6 uh, 13 damage. 13. If it moves, it's going to take 2d8 more damage. Uh, you teleported to it, you said. Yep. Um, well, you throw it. Oh, which deals extra damage to it. Uh, you throw it and that definitely hits. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. But when you go to, like, use your action to teleport there, it doesn't work. The hmm. spear itself or is uh, lodged in the spider currently. And you see this, for the first time, uh, this, like, shimmer kind of in front of it. In front of the spider. Okay. Alright, well, that's my turn. Okay. Uh... It is said spider's turn. Do I roll to get the web charge? I do. I do not. Um, well, its reaction to you throwing something at it will be to uh, leap toward you. Oh, it's jumping. Bringing your uh, spear along. Uh, sorry, being slow. What am I adding? Sorry. Uh, 16 does not hit. Does not hit. No. Second attack is a natural 16. Probably hits. 20 something. Yep. 23. Um, D8. You are going to take a whopping six piercing damage, followed by six acid damage. Are you currently wearing non-magical armor? I don't have armor. I have mage armor. Um, yeah, so armor. that would be magical armor. Okay. Uh, it is. For Axis's turn, you currently have uh, webbing on you. Your movement speed is zero. 
What would you like to do, Varaxis? Um, I like to try to uh, get out of the fucking web. Okay, uh, you can use your action to make the strength save, or you can try to attack the uh, webbing. I'm going to need to reset my Discord. Everything's just super fucking like, robotic-y. I'll be right back. Okay. So how's your day been? Good. I always miss the, the random chatter when Rar would mute. And the horse just like yammering. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Akalia, do you know what you're gonna do? Uh, I'm probably gonna ice knife the one in front of Anya. All right, go ahead and take your turn. All we wait for Waffle. Bling. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A D. So we know a twenty-six and a twenty-seven hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. <laughs> and then I hit one D ten. Um. Ice oh, knife. Shit. Ice knife. It has that explosive radius to it, but because you've rolled so fucking high, I'm not gonna even like ponder over. But you take like the, the AOE. Like Anya won't be hit. Yeah, but five piercing damage. And then the explosion. Does the explosion hit the one Two that was attacked, or only the ones around it? It needs to make a. Hit or miss, the shard explodes the target. And each creature within uh, must make a dexterity saving throw. Each creature within how far? Oh wow, that's a fail. Five feet. Five, Five feet. feet, okay. So Anya doesn't have to, because it's large enough that you can hit well, it. Well, I not... want to. Okay, okay so. fine, do it. Roll, and then I'll fail my dex save and take how much more damage? Roll up 2d6. You got a 10. <laughs> Question, does Eight. the failed teleport attempt count as one of my charges? No. Okay. Did you say eight, sorry? Yeah. Anya, eight damage from the ice knife explosion as some little shards of uh, uh, ice burst off of this spider and hit you. Actually, sorry, you rolled really high, but Anya, what you see right in front of you is the ice knife comes over your shoulder and right before it would strike the spider, it passes through that shimmer that you uh, saw before. And you see the ice knife break on the shimmer, and you also see like a shattering across said shimmer. Anybody with, who thinks they have high uh, natural perception, they can have seen that too. Did it take damage when it jumped to me because of moving blade or no? Because it canceled my attack. No, it did not. It only took damage from being struck by the spear. I thought it was, okay. So that'd be like seven. Uh, I will also say that when the knife explodes, the secondary effect from the knife, which was the explosion, uh, this explosive damage, that does make it through. Or not through, there's maybe not anything to go through anymore. Ah. Is, uh, is there a guy back? No, he's not. Um, call you the blue. Uh, these zombies are going to move forward. These zombies are going to move forward, but they're in the brush, so they barely move. Uh, the zombies have two colors on them because Waffle is colorblind, and this means he knows what is what. Um, it's actually the color groupings of what he sees. So to him, these all look like the same color, two dots. Um, you guys can just shout them out as one color or two colors. It doesn't matter when you're specifying them. Just to explain why they all have two dots on them. Uh, it is Sigismund's turn. Red and blue moved. Sigismund, you right. are trapped in webbing. 
The the spider doesn't go before me? Not that one. One went. Oh, that's lame. Uh, they were both holding their actions earlier, and they released their ambush, which you were somewhat warned about. Yeah. Uh, for spells. Uh, Sacred Flame. On? Must make a dexterity saving throw or take radiant damage. On the spider? Yeah. Okay. 60 foot range. Seventeen. Damn it. Do I take no damage? I think it's a cantrip. I'm pretty sure you take no damage. Okay, it just seems, seems like just nothing happens. It doesn't dodge out of the way of anything. You gain no benefit from cover. For this saving throw. Huh. That's cool. Is cover supposed to give you advantage on deck saving throws or something? I guess. Wild. I never knew that. I probably should have been making a lot of deck saving throws a lot better. Uh, is that your whole turn? You only have a bonus Awful action. Said. Right? He's stuck on the loading screen. Awesome. Um, bonus action to flip it off. <laughs> Granted. Um, Corby, it's your turn. Uh, what was the weather? I think it had just snowed, and maybe you guys were having... I think it had just snowed. Light snow. Okay, yeah, so slightly stormy. Clouds. Slightly stormy. Ah, okay. Slightly stormy, are... I, would agree, I would agree. There are clouds. Call, oh, I'm muted. I, I believe he said it had just switched to rain. To light rain. Okay, it did switch to light rain? Oh, I have a message from Mothal I believe he well. said that. But... <laughs> oh, no. Waffle right. rolled a 19 on a strength save. He's assuming he made it and is ending his turn. Uh, yes, he does make it. I turned my notifications back on for Discord. I hope you are all very proud. <laughs> um, sorry, Corby, I was reading a message from Waffle. No, no, that's okay. I had to reset my D&D uh, &D Beyond. It was, like, glitching. Oh, fun. Let's see. Everybody's having problems right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, I was going to yes. call that one, that was things. Sense. Okay. Um, that one is. I think that's a saving throw, isn't it? Dexterity saving throw, yeah. Uh. 25. Which one are you attacking? Uh, this one right in front of me. Okay. Um, 25, yeah, that, that beats it, so. Okay. Do I take half? Yeah, half as much, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. I get to use successful. my nifty, my nifty new, uh... Uh, 3d10, post. and we did determine it is a storm, so 4d10. Shoot. 4d10 is still a lot. Goddamn. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so we got 991570. Whoa. Oh wait, wait, sorry, sorry, I'm dumb. I rolled way too many. Two two extra. Hold on, I'll I'll re-roll that. <laughs> you just take out the ones. So that's kind of just like, was there only one one in there? Yeah, it was one one. Do you still remember all your no uh that would I still be Okay, sorry. go ahead. Five nine nine zero. There zero you go. Ten. Five nine nine zero. Uh nine and nine is eighteen, plus the ten is twenty-eight, plus five is thirty-four. Crusader? 17. 17. Half damage. Thank you. Okay, yeah, lightning comes down and does strike it. Doesn't seem to any, be anything blocking this hit. Uh... I don't know why I rolled those two extra. 
This zombie will move down. This zombie will move down. Waffle said he made his save. He said he rolled a 19. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the... Oh, that's the wrong image. I'll take the thing off of him. Where is it? There it is. Um, now the second spider will leap at you, Crusader. Aha! Exactly like I had planned. Just later than you had planned. Does uh, a 19 hit you? No. As this thing's fangs scrape across your plate. Does, uh, never mind, that's less. Um, it does not hit you. <laughs> never mind, that's less. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, top... Yes, top of the turn order, Anya. I'm ready. Can I teleport to my sphere now? <laughs> you can certainly try. I'll use my bonus action to try to teleport to it. It works. Um, I'm assuming... Well, I didn't actually... So you said it was 15 feet tall. No, it was 15 feet her. up. I apologize for not removing that token. It was in the tree. I will unmark the 15. Oh, okay. I'm new to using those. Sorry for the lack of explanation. Okay, but, so how tall is it compared to... Uh, it's large... To... It's not as big as the other spider you fought. So if it's a five foot ex explosion radius, you could teleport behind it and not hit uh, your companions. Except the spear is already in it. Yeah, I teleport but, to the spear with but, it in my hand. But the spear is going to appear. The spear is going to appear in your hand, so you can edit. You can move yourself anywhere around the token you're attacking. Well, I'm gonna flank it, obviously. Yeah, Thank you, that's, Yep, <laughs> that's, it's a, totally intended to work like that. That's I think it's worded to say it appears in your hand and not you appear where I it is. I always assumed that yeah. where my spear landed. Yeah. It, as long as you're connected I to the token it that it hit. If I ever want to be like specific about like maybe when you're fighting the dragon, I'll be specific about where you have to end up because that's even bigger than this. But yeah, you're totally so fine. This is the the first time I ever um, teleported to it. Like a turn between throwing it and not, which I've been like planning on for a long time now. Cool. Um, so that means that the whole order of attacks and damage is different, and it's really cool. Um, I teleport to it. It's going to deal one d eight to it and everything else in the radius, but just, just uh, five it. or ten on the radius. Um, I think it's actually ten. Because if it's ten, you're gonna hit that zombie. Let me click off your, your stream. It is 10, yep. Come on, baby. Nice. 7 damage? Okay. Um, <sighs> lightning. Uh, and then I'm going to strike at it again. With a booming blade. Okay. Let's get this one. <laughs> Nat 16, plus 9. Assume that's gonna hit, so I'm gonna grab my damage. Oh yeah. That one down, I'll grab these. How did that land on the edge of my rolling board? Mm -hmm. Um I thought it was a seven, that's a one and a five. So that's six and six is twelve damage, and if it moves it's gonna take two D eight. And that was my bonus action and attack action. So that'll be it for me, thank you. Okay. The marker I just stuck on it is supposed to remind us that you hit it with Booming Blade. Um, cool. It is that spider's turn. Oh, let me roll. A d6. I do not get back my web. Uh, does turning count as moving? Uh, I would say that moving counts as moving from one flat foot square to a different one. Okay, then I'm just As far as I know, you. pivoting does not cause movement. I've been able to hit enemies in front of me and behind otherwise, me without having to. Well, more I'm, more I'm specifying because of the. Uh, uh, oh, that, that, that lining up with your booming blade definitely helps. Um, does a 19 hit? Meets it, beats it. Awesome. The other one is one less, so the other one misses. So there's this down. Um, it's a D8, so you're taking seven piercing followed by two more D8. That's not a D8. 
That's a 10. That's a D8. That's a D8. Followed by uh, seven acid. Did I say acid before? You said seven piercing and then seven acid? Is it acid or poison? Yes, seven piercing first. And then, he, yes, it's acid afterwards. Okay. And you're not where you, you have magical armor, so the rest of it doesn't affect you. All right. Um, you all... See Anya. Oh, no, you can't really see hers. Hmm. Uh, it would be Varaxis's turn. Um, you guys can use his him as an NPC action to uh, eat a hit for you until he returns. Zombies red are going to get 20 feet. This one's, ooh, this one's going to get 20 feet. I can get to Anya. Hey, oh, hey, hey, Anya. Oh, what did the zombies have for their heads? I'm uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I rolled pretty bad here. What? I thought we were... No, it's only a 10. Um, that one will miss. Good. They all miss, right? Right, DM? Uh, they all miss? It's only the one. Uh, Akalia, Akalia, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to do Ice Knife again. Fourteen. A uh, fourteen will miss. Two. Now Waffles Internet is out. <laughs> well, this keeps getting better for the poor guy. Oh, bummer. Um, oops, I clicked the wrong thing there. Is it the end of your turn? Yep. Any movement? Mm -hmm. No, I'll stay where I am. That was my turn. Okay, nope, it's the zombie's turn. Anya! No. Damn it. Does a 10 hit? Varaxis! No. Does a 10 hit? Ha! <laughs> Alright, those are both misses. Um... Now it is Sigismund's turn. Corby's on deck. Mm. Mid sip of coffee. All right. So now the spider is here. You gotta, you gotta move it towards me on the map. You didn't do that when oh. you jumped and missed. Uh, I will do that. But uh, yeah, I did. I did on my screen. Maybe you need to Where refresh. do you think I am? What? You're right here. Why is it the spider? Alright, I'm refreshing. <laughs> Spider's right next to you. Does everybody else see a spider next to Sigismund? Do you see the zombies Sig that the zombies that moved that are near Anya and Veronica? Everything else moved. It was just not just that not one that token. One. Okay. If you're talking about this spider, no. Oh, yeah, he moved. No, he's still over in the bushes. Nope, he's still in the bush. I moved him again. Are you on the GM layer? Nope. Yeah, when, uh, yeah, I'm gonna there. refresh. You know what? Fuck it. I'm ref All refreshes. When I refreshed, he got moved back. So, okay. now he is next to you. Yes, now he All is right. next to me. It was me. What is that symbol he's got? Uh, oh, he was he was above the ground. He is no longer. Ah, so now I'm gonna smack him with my hammer. Uh, this is a twenty-one hit. You may do so with disadvantage. Why? Because you're webbed. This is a. Uh, it's still a twenty-one. This is a twenty-one hit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys know the armor class is above fourteen and below twenty-one. <laughs> Yeah. Was it D? Plus two. Seven. Blunt damage. Bludgeoning. Blunt. I like it when it's called blunt damage. <laughs> it's my favorite hey, thing to man. level up in the zombies game. My, my level level four blunts. 
Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah. Is, wouldn't blunt damage be a sleight of hand? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That deserves doobies in chat. Do, you should I'm out of those slots. D6. I'm kidding. You got what slots, sorry? I got a level 2 slots, but I got level 3 slots. That's uh, features and traits. And I'm going to use my exciting. bonus action to harness divine power and give me back a level 2 spell slot. It, as long as it doesn't say that's a short rest ability, go for it. Not a short rest ability, it's something you do on a short rest. No, no, it's a bonus action. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, carry on. Uh, and that'll be it. Okay. Corby. Um, hold on one sec, because I was looking at Barkskin. Um, Anya, is your AC less than 16? No. No, it's 19. Never mind. All right. Um... I'm going to uh, bark spin. Let's... Bark skin, I believe, is a concentration. Correct. Yes. A good it combo. It replaces your natural armor. It replaces armor. your armor, your whatever armor you have, as sixteen. So if you were to cast bark skin on yourself and then shape shift into uh, the dog, you would have armor class of sixteen as long as you maintained your concentration. Same goes for it when uh, Thalia turns into a bear. But anytime you I see also, a squirrel um, as a dog, you lose. You have to roll concentration. Yeah. <laughs> I also saw that if you are currently wearing armor, the DM can, can say if it makes sense that it also applies to your wild shape. Oh, so if I if I do that, I can have a sixteen. Right, as your armor class. So like when dogs, when you're the when you're the wolf, okay. you have like twelve AC or something 11. really low. Eleven, right? So you can cast bark skin on yourself and then shape shift afterwards, and uh, and you would you would maintain the concentration of the spell you cast. You just can't cast while you're shape shifted. Okay, I'd like to do that. Okay. You can't cast bark skin on a wolf though. You can only cast bark skin on a dog. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. It would end concentration on your I'm storm spell. I'm full of right now. Ah, yes, your storm spell <laughs> is concentration, and you only have one concentration spell active at a time. So okay, you so can I'm cast gonna... storm, and then now this turn you can shape shift, and I believe every time you cast storm, is it similar to uh, spirit yeah, you can weapon? Use a bonus action to hit so you can, with a... yeah. So now that the storm is active, you can shape shift using your action into the wolf, and then still bonus action uh, attack with your storm. Because you're technically not casting it anymore. You've already cast it. Wait, you mean call lightning? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait, I thought you it's only one spell slot every time I use that. Correct. But now that storm is there, right? Right. So you don't have to use more spell slots, but you can. I believe you can also use your bonus action on every other turn to cast, to, to attack. I didn't know that was a bonus action. Have you been using Maybe spell slots to hit, to hit with it every time? No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not supposed to do that. Just oh. when you cast it. You should have a bunch back then. Yeah. Oh, wait, so when I cast, when I call lightning and the first time, I, I hit something. Yeah. Well, the first that... time you cast it, you are creating the storm. If there isn't a storm there, you create one. That is your cast. Once you've created it, you control it. So you can bonus action every other turn. I think it's bonus action. It's called call lightning. Yeah, it's I I put it in uh, roll twenty. Okay, thank you. On each of your turns, until the spell ends, you can use. Oh no, it does say your action to call down lightning again. No, but you can still use your action instead of attacking. Yes. So I don't have to use a spell slot every time I use this. Only the first time you're casting it in a combat. And then uh, it says concentration up to 10 minutes. So if you take damage, you have to make a concentration check. And if you fail it, the storm, your control over it would go away and you would need to cast again. But oh, you can okay. also so I can only use, use a bonus action again. to go boom. I didn't. That, can that's I why it's so bonus? beautiful. It's been a bonus action, right? No, I thought it was, but looking at it, it's not. Action. Okay. It says well, use your I mean, action again. Yeah. But you, you sense. still, it's, you it's only smell. A lot of damage. You only, so. a, you only cast it once. Correct. Okay. Shocking. All right. Cool. So I want to call lightning again then, because I was going to transport, but that that works even better. Then, uh, 
And you still have a bonus I action. make a save, right? I make a save. I don't have any bonus action things. Save. Uh, I got a <laughs> dirty 20. So I'll take half, uh, I think, depending on yes, if you're yeah, above. I don't think anybody's above. Uh, 14 damage. Oh, the DC is 14? Yeah. Uh, roll your damage. 4. D10. 4. 4. <laughs> Uh, four, one, zero, and seven. Four, one is five. Twenty-two. Half Thank is you. eleven. Sorry, I can't. I can't math right now. I can for about three more drinks. Love it. I'm glad someone can, because I definitely cannot. I can um, math just not in front of people. For real. As this bolt of lightning is called down between you and Anya, uh, this spider is obliterated by it. Yeah! Uh, maybe yeah. now you also notice that on the it's other so side savage. of the spider, there are uh, some ash zombies that seem to be closing in on Anya, who is not looking her best currently. Um, and, and, and I got crap. spider goo all over me. Which is, like, <laughs> it's kind of like I kind of like it. <laughs> Zombies purple. Wait. Oh, I spider goo purple. is a, is a wonderful uh, moisturizer. Gross. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those zombies mm -hmm. are going to move. It's more of a peel, you know. Uh, Crusader. Yeah. Does a twenty-four hit? Um, is he yes. drinking your drink? And does a 21 I saw that hit. Sorry. Sorry. A 21 will hit. I gotta learn shield. Yeah. Yeah, that would make me hate you. I'm gonna just be like, nope. Not today. You are going to take 4 and 7. You're gonna take 11 piercing damage. That's from both attacks. And okay. an additional... My, mag my armor is magic. An additional 17 uh, acid damage, and your armor is magic, so no effects on the armor. Uh, top of the turn order, Anya. Two zombies have closed in as you kind of, like, one attacks you, and you, I believe you managed to block it, right? You blood, you got neither one of them hit you. You sort of, like, Shield block up. it, yeah, uh, and then you notice that there are actually uh, several who have been moving their way in behind you. It is your turn. Um... She's going to use her Shock Strike Blade, the Green Flame Blade variant. Um, wait, that's a target and then five feet within that target? Okay, that's actually... Okay, thanks for moving, Dion. <laughs> I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, she's going to... Uh, hmm. She's going to count on the, the zombie not being able to hit her, which could be a bad thing. Oh, man. No, she's going to make... She's going to slip this way. Boom. And throw her spear and hit this back one, green blue. Which one? Green blue. Okay. And then teleport to it. Okay. The whole thing. Um I rolled an eight. I rolled an eleven on my attack of opportunity. Because he moved away There's from red ah! red yellow. <laughs> So the whole reason I split up there was so I wouldn't get one, and I, and I just realized that, yeah. Yeah, red, red, but whatever, he missed. Um, yes. I don't make any save for you throwing, you just roll an attack, right? Did you roll your attack? I did, and I got a, oh my god, my eyes. That's a six, but I got a plus nine. Yeah, you're, so you're good. Zombies have okay. low AC. Um, so it's going to be uh, a green flame blade, or chalk strike. It's uh, 1d8, 1d8, so it's 2d8 to the first target, and it's going to be 1d8 plus 5 to the next target. Excuse me. Uh, here we go. And we'll often better uh, get four, back by the time you get 4 and 5 closest. is 9, and 6 is 15. Um, and then the next target takes 1d8 plus 6. 4 again, so 10 damage. So, uh, first, first one, this one. Oh no, I threw it at this one. Yeah. So this one takes the uh, the 15 damage. Uh huh. And then this one takes uh, four and six is 10 damage. Did you include the damage for you teleporting? 
No, I did not. Go ahead. I'll do that right now. I didn't, I didn't think you did, because you did the Seven. jump to the other guy. Seven on the top one? Seven on the <laughs> everything within ten feet. Oh, okay. Um, top on, one was 15 damage, yeah. next one was 10 damage, and then seven all against everything. I need you to make a save of some kind. I don't remember what um, they are, so roll me your d20. Uh, constitution saving throw. I rolled it before you named it, and I got a natural 18. You're Let's say 21. You're, you're totally good. I get to use the dice that I and ordered what, for here Anya. Or here. Ooh, lightning. You're in one of oh, these two um, spots? Because you teleported. If I, if I teleported, there. let's let's just throw me on this side, if I can do that. Totally fair. Oh, no, no, no. Because <laughs> it's within 10 feet. So, yeah, right here. If that can hit all three of these Oh, guys. then yeah, let me it's add the... It was, it was seven damage, right? Let me add it to that other yep. guy. Done. Yep. Seven to all three. Okay, thank you, DM. You That's drew it. a blue line on the map. That's an arrow, and it didn't disappear. Uh, I'm gonna try. Uh, that spooter's dead. It's Varaxis' turn. He's an NPC action. Zombie red. Oh, I have noises in my ear. Waffle, so my internet is down. I apologize. Waffle, thank you for the 63 months, buddy. Sorry your internet's down. Yeah, dude. This oh, uh, it's your turn if you want to try to play from there. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Yes, do it! Do it! While you're typing things, I'll just keep us moving along. Um, whose turn was it? It was mine, whoever's after me. It was be Waffles, but I think me. Zombie Waffles, red. Zombie. Hang on, let me move Zombie Red. And oh, that is a blue I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gone. I'll move that zombie here. What happened to you? I tried to delete the blue line, but deleted myself oh. as well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, move yourself I'm back because I'm attacking you with a zombie. Um, I rolled a there, nine. DM. I rolled a nine. Corby, I, I rolled a natural one, so you can use your reaction to have an attack of opportunity on said zombie. Lightning! Do it. Wait, do you have a warcaster? Oh, thank you. Uh, you cannot use cast I'm spell. sorry. No, I no, no, no. I, I appreciate like, that. Oh, rules lawyer. Oh. I appreciate it. It's hard to keep track of all of them. Wait, can I smack him with my uh, staff? Absolutely. You just can't cast a spell. Okay. You may even be able to use the, the boar to make an attack if that's better. Uh, no, the boar's attacks are only for he's the been, NPC action. He's been, I used So you can probably use your NPC action? Okay. She used it, yeah. <laughs> I did, yeah. Those refresh every I, fight, I, by um... the way. Wait, what? They refresh every fight. So you can use it again in the next fight. It's not gone for, like, the whole session, necessarily. Oh, so I can use them again? No, you used it this time, didn't you? Yeah, so I say is we need an NPC fight. with Wish. Sorry, you both spoke at the same time. I'm sorry. I already so. used it this fight. Yeah, so. that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to smack him with my staff, uh, you roll a d20. I actually haven't done that yet. You roll a d20. You are adding 18. your proficiency bonus and your I want to say strength modifier, but it might be a dexterity modifier. But uh, but it's, defi it's definitely enough to hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Sweet. And then make a con save for me. Oh, I have a dagger. I didn't even realize. Um, because I haven't I haven't like meleeed anything. You've shillelied once. I think I took that off though. Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, roll your damage. You did. It's a cantrip. Yeah, I switched cantrips. Oh, I, shit. I didn't really use it very often. I usually change Same. it. Yeah, you know, she's the shillelay. I'm the, I'm the shalagala. Shalagala. Shalalaga. Um. Uh, I don't have. Hold on. I don't have my. Banana. Shalagala. <laughs> what would a staff's um, damage be? 1d8. Alright. It's 1. I think it's no. Is it one d six, one d four, or is it one d eight, one d four? It's one d six plus. It's one d six, one d eight. I think plus dex. No, the the butt end of it is one d four. All right, I got a six and a three. Is that a Sherman? Oh, I'm sorry. Three damage, you said. Yeah, right here, Chris. Oh. Okay. 
Either a Sherman or a Firefly with a stubby barrel. Akalia, so you Akalia, it's your turn. I'm gonna run up to Purple Orange. I'm gonna shalagala. <laughs> oh, I oh Waffle, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. He did a bunch of damage to that zombie a moment ago. Okay. But you go ahead and you can roll your attack on it. Thirteen. Say again. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Yes, it mm -hmm. hits. Ooh. Can you roll less than Ten. two? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need you and uh, Varaxis to both make a Constitution saving throw as this zombie bursts into ash. Waffle second saving throw. You're fine from the first one. Thirty twenty. You're fine. Um, zombies blue, dead, and here. No move there. Uh, Sigismund, unless uh, Kalia had a bonus action to take, no nope. movement to take. Nope. Let me use my action to drink a potion. So that's max, right? Yes, if you're using your action, you get the max roll. And then uh, we use my bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Where is he? <laughs> Bring out the trusty Elm. Anus. Anus. Hit him, Anus. I think he's going to smack this thing in the face. Very <laughs> crit. Nice. Uh, uh, it's a spell. Correct? It's you, so you don't roll so, any extra damage. You just don't use your spell slot. What happens on subsequent turns? You didn't use your spell slot. You got a free anus. Okay. Should've what if up, I get a 20 again? Should have upcast it. With the it. same spell slot. Oh, well, then, cool. That's what crits on spells do. They don't change the damage. They just keep you keep your spell slot. Do I get slot. another spell slot back? If if you're casting a spell and you roll a crit, you don't use your spell slot. There's okay. no there's never change to damage on spells. You just keep your spell slots. It's still gonna hit for a D8 plus five. I'm okay with it giving me more back if I get another one. Um, thirteen. I just wanted to make sure that was a thing. That's your whole turn? Force damage. 13 force damage, if that matters. No. Damn. I was hoping the force damage might do extra damage to the force shield. Oh, I totally fucking forgot about that thing. Uh, uh, Do they all have it? You rolled, it you rolled a crit, though. No, it, it it's there, and then it... it, it Once it's been used, it's it's been used, and it's gone, and they would have to get it again. Um, but you roll the crit, so it's just gonna smash right fucking through it, through the thing. It's gonna nice. It's gonna ignore it, and it's broken for now. Um, Whoop. thank you for reminding me. And thank you. You for, are welcome. And thank you for critting the shit out of it. Don't forget your bonus to your uh, your d6 pool. Uh, right. Con save after for Waffle is a 16, so he is totally fine. I love how Twitch, Twitch Mobile doesn't capitalize my first letter. Twitch Mobile sucks. Yeah, Wolf saying you regained a spell slot. Uh, Corby, your turn. Okay, I'm going to call lightning on this here zombie in front of me. Okay. Hit him. Oh, I roll, huh? Yeah, you roll. Uh, uh, right. I rolled a natural one, so go ahead and hit me with four d10 uh -huh. damage. Uh, I got eight, eight, zero, one. Eight and eight is 16. Add one is 17. Add 10 is 27. Crusader? Half of 27 is um, 
No, you full you failed. You failed. I'm just oh. having you check my math. Uh, that one's dead. It will. Sorry, uh, I was reading something. It will not explode in a puff of ash and do damage to you because it gets vaporized by fucking lightning. Yeah. Um. That'd be uh, it. Zombies blue get to go. That one's dead. Wait a minute, didn't I just have them go? I could just see the skeleton just. I did just have them go. Zombies purple get to go. This one will move up to Through Anya. The, the other like, one uh -huh. is dead. Uh -huh. Anya uh -huh. does a uh, seven tickle. Uh, no, no. I mean, oh, okay. No. It's three tickle damage if it does. <laughs> Tickle damage is I'm only not, mental when you don't carry it on your sheet. Yeah, don't no, don't take damage. I was just trying to make a joke. You're only ticklish if you're afraid of things. And, uh, only is not tickle, 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 tickle. I see. I see. That's why I guess I'm ticklish, because I hate spiders crawling on me. Um, Crusader. Ticklish is a, a fear response. Uh, that's going to miss. What are you, 21 or 20? 20. Oh, man. That's going to miss, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's lower than the other one. Uh, yeah. Uh, your armor is holding up very well against this thing. Um, yeah. Anya. Okay. She's just gonna st step in between, slide between. Huh. Electric, electric slide, as it were, with the... Yeah. Rock strike damage. Um, we're gonna hit red, yellow, and then X. Oh no, they're not within five feet. Hmm. Hmm. Instead, I just put myself in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> exactly. Danger, Will Robinson. Um. Fuck it. Uh, red, yellow. Yeah. Booming blade. Hit him. <laughs> Stoner Jonah's is in it? chat saying, yo, howdy, just walking my cat. Not your flying fish, just your cat this time. Yeah. Um, you so say you have, you have a plus nine to your attacks? Yeah. You can't miss. I, that's right. I for, you're, you're just I do, rolling I do for remember crits. That now. <laughs> you're rolling for crits on against the zombies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think just about everybody is. Uh, they have eight AC. Um. So, so seven damage. four is eleven and six is uh, seventeen damage. And then into con save as this one explodes. Oh no. That's where I'm a Viking. Oh, we're gonna roll a two DM. Um, so that's gonna be a, a five total. Yes, you have a disadvantage for now. Cool. Until something that I have to look up because I still alive. Wasn't paying attention <laughs> Woo! to. Um, I would have a bonus action. I think <sighs> Varax is pretty sad. We're gonna have bonus action to use Corby. Um, sorry. Bard of Inspiration. Got it. D6? Yep. That was my and my question. final one, by the way. Uh, wait, Anya, wait you question. have... One second. You have disadvantage on attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks for one minute, but at the end of each of your turns, you can make the save again. It was constitution saves. What was your question, Corby? Okay. Does this work as, like, a Bardic Inspiration, but for saving throws? I put it Basically, in yes, but uh, you have to be able to touch them, whereas Anya does not. She just okay. has to sing about them. Okay, cool. Uh, Anya, was that your whole turn? Yes, sir. Scooter one is dead. It's Varaxis's turn. You can tell, let me know what you're doing in chat, Varaxis. Zombies red are dead and dead. Akalia, it is your turn. Um, yeah, we're on the screen. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I raised blue green. Two, Sorry, how far away is blue oh. green? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty feet. You can do it. Yeah, pull me over and I'll can Waka. Waka waka. Waka la. Shalaka la. Shalaka. Like we really gotta get you hex. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Yep. Thirteen. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Eleven. Uh, you're good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, what uh, part? Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Shh. Um, Akalia does a 19 hit. Awesome. Take a massive two bludgeoning damage. Is the other blue one dead? Yes, it is. Sigismund, you are up. As the spider right. is clawing its, uh, clawing its fangs against you, because that that's great use of words. <laughs> yeah. uh, first, my bonus action to whack it. Okay. So, <laughs> I crit again. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Sorry, you said like another spell slot back. No, you're not gaining another spell slot. So what do we do now? <laughs> Now is it double damage? Uh, you do, you're not going to get double damage because I don't want to scale up the, the damage, but I'll give you max damage. Okay. That's fair, yeah? Um, Yeah, I like that. That's uh, 13. Yeah, D8 plus 5. And then I'm going to use my action to uh, bust out. What's the DC? Uh, make a strength saving throw, please. 16. Yes. Ah! Bitch. Because I just realized that if it's giving me disadvantage, it might also be giving it advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I rolled so bad on my last set of attacks. I rolled like a 3-4 and then a 6-7 or some shit like that. I was kind of like, Jesus okay. <laughs> okay, even with what I get to add, I'm not hitting this guy. I'm not hitting the tin fucking can. <laughs> That's exactly what this thing thinks. I'm a pot of canned meat. Uh... Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, Corby is after you? Yeah, Corby, you're next. Alright, I'm going to call down lightning um, on the zombie next to Anya. Okay. Oh, I roll for that. Uh, I rolled an 11. I'm pretty sure I have a negative deck save. It, it, yeah, I have a 14, 16, 16. hold on. Okay. 14. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Four and dates. I can roll the bardic as well, right? Uh, the bardic would be on an attack, not on a damage roll. Okay. It All can right. be on an attack, uh, it can be on a saving throw, it can be on an ability check. Ooh, Just not I got two nines, a ten, and a five. Uh, actually, it, it can be on spells. It depends on what level the inspiration is. Okay. Or what level the bard is. That's fair. Uh, but these ones are not. Correct, Star? Sorry? Do you have magical inspiration? I think it's only, like, level 2 of Bard. I don't uh, think yeah, so, no, it's 1d8. No, 1d6. It's, what do you mean, magical inspiration? Your uh, inspiration two, does not add to, uh, damage. At level no. 2, you can use it to add to damage of healing and... That, that might be a certain... Spells. That might be a certain bar. Um, uh, ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Yeah. It's a bard feature. Okay, it might be later, then. It's not level 2. Because the basic bardic inspiration is what Star just said. 
uh, saving throw, it's like bless. Um, Anya, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Wait, did uh, I kill that zombie? It was 33 damage. Yes, yes you did. Okay. Oh, you do not need to make a constitution <laughs> saving throw for me, because she vaporized okay. the fucking thing. Vaporize! All in one go. Just skeleton, and then nothing. <laughs> Uh, zombies purple, that was zombie purple, so nothing there. Uh, Sigismund, this spider is actually going to crawl over the top of you and attack Riffhelm instead. That is real weird. <laughs> well, you're a, tin, you're a tin can. Riffhelm is <laughs> taking damage. It's, it's tired of me. <laughs> it's giving up. <laughs> Just That's a pre-warning, it's almost 9.20. Or whatever time it is over there, Walkus. Huh? Nine twenty. Four five twenty over there? Sub subtracts, yes. Four twenty? It's not Oh 20 no, no, it's not almost four twenty. Oh, it is four twenty. No, it's right. not, it's six twenty. It's oh, four twenty somewhere. That I mean that's <laughs> true. I can't <laughs> argue with that. Uh I guess I've used all my D8s. Get them from over here. Um, Riffhelm's taking 12 damage. Riffhelm, how much health do you have? I'll be right back. Riffhelm, Riffhelm's hurt, but he's not that hurt. Uh, Anya. Lightning right. calls down in front of you, vaporizing the last of the ash zombies. You see Akalia moving toward the final ash zombie, and uh, then you catch a glimpse of Crusader and Riffhelm battling against another ruined spider. What do you do? Uh, how do I um, get down there? Okay. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Yeah, another fucking teleport, don't I? Yeah, four more. Three more, okay. Um, I'm just going to run. I'm assuming the corpse of a, a spider You're is... You're fine. Move right running. through it. I don't care. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Hi, back. I'm move here. It does not seem as though Waffle will be back. That sucks. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna get a, a throw. Do it! Not a crit. Hmm. Oh, not a zombie either. Uh, not a zombie. <laughs> 12 plus 9. Seems to work. 12 plus 9 will be enough. Uh, 620 okay. cheers, by the way. 620 cheers! Let's go! Okay, so um, spear attack damage first. 8 and 6 is 14. Um, then I teleport to it with a bonus action. Appearing on this other side. Dealing another 1d8. <coughs> what was the first set of um, damage? Or it was max of uh, 14. And then um, three <laughs> lightning from ten feet around me. Uh, Crusader and Riffhelm take three. They're within ten. Aren't they? You literally have said like eight times now for me to be like, you can do okay. Fine. That's ten. I might be. Yeah, I might be. I don't know about Riff. Sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> I'm not offended. It's okay. It's it's like it's it's literally the only time, yeah, that this is gonna happen because I'm literally on top of it. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have a spot that you, or it's literally on top of me. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, you'd have a spot to go where it wouldn't have hit us. It crawled I mean, over it, Crusader. It's yeah. large though. Like uh, if I strike above it, no, still not. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it won't hit me. Sorry, it's I'm only three, it's, it. it's only three damage. Every Shot. damage matters. That's true. Actually, That's I'm sorry. That's the one that matters is the last one. Last and seven health. Um, 
Spider One is dead. It would be Veroxus's turn. Zombies, I, mean, I think, fucked. are all dead. Uh, all the zombies are all dead, right? No, there's one left. Akalia, your turn. Bleeding web on her. Just Give like... it a wackadoo. Again. Shoalay. A wackalay. You hit it. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah, you hit it. Woo! You can't miss unless you get a one. They have eight AC. And damage. Hit ten damage. I, it had nine health. I need you to make a constitution saving throw as it explodes in a puff of ash. <laughs> Was that like a 20? 17. Oh, you're good. Please. Um, All right. Anything else? It's a zombie's turn, but there's none left. Yeah. That'll uh, do it. Anything else with Akalia, then it's Sigismund, and then it's Corby. All right, now that is my turn. It's a touch. It's it's from Tasha's, so it's an optional feature. Oh, a creature has a bardic inspiration die from you and casts a spell that restores hit points or deals damage. You can roll that die and choose a target affected by the spell. Add the number rolled as a bonus to the hit points regained or the damage dealt. So spells, not attacks. Yeah. Which is what Corby was using, so she could have used it? Yeah. She could have added d6. Anya, do you want that optional thing from Tasha's? I'm letting the druids use optional stuff from Tasha's, so... It's there if you want it. What what exactly? Uh, your bardic inspirations can add to healing or damage from spells, not damage from attacks. I think I just did it correctly, right, Crusader? Yeah. Without wording it correctly. I don't, I don't feel like that's... Very fair. What she is... I like the damage part, but like... I like both of them, honestly. Is like, that's her true role. I feel like. Well, that's there if you but, want it, or if you want to like add that later. It's it's there in your pocket. Can I like roll hundred sided to see if I accept? Sure. What am I rolling? I don't know. Pity pity. Are you are you Even are you flipping a coin? I, it's it's an optional feature from Tasha's, and I've given other players optional features from Tasha's, so I'm just leaving it up to you. Do you want it? You can have it. Yep. Okay. Did I say yes? It, then you you can now do that. So your dice now right. can be applied to magical shit, but not physical shit. It took um, me a while to find not, it. Anytime I can't find nothing? something, it's in Tasha's. Yeah. <laughs> it's not you say physical. you say stuff that counters like what I know all the time, and then you end up coming back later going, "Ah, right, yep, Tasha said no. We do this now." And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, what's the not physical stuff? It it only uh, it only applies to magic, so it can go on to damage for spells, or it can go on to damage or or health for healing spells. But you can't like if I just physically hit you with a sword, I can't add the bardic inspiration damage to that. I can add it to my attack. Yeah, it's like still. College of Valor thing. So if you get College of Valor, then you can just add it to everything. Which it won't be. But it's currently it's ability to check attack roll or saving throw. You're saying in addition to that? Yes, I'm saying yeah. in addition to that. According to Tasha's, you can have it also be uh, applicable to spell attacks and healing from spells. Okay, yeah, definitely. Cool. Good to know. Use it to add a little bit of lightning. Yeah. <laughs> or, or healing, like. Or she, healing, yeah. <laughs> She's kind of like a battlefield medic, you know, like a uh, uh, marine first sort of thing. You know? Heck like, yeah. Every, everybody yeah, can fire go. a rifle, you know. Whose turn is it? It's mine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I totally lost. I waited until my turn to start this whole thing. <laughs> awesome. That's, I appreciate that you did that. Um, I'm going to uh, smack it with a helmet. Okay. That hit, uh, Thanks. plus eight. 24. Yep. So that'll hit. I'm pretty sure we've hit it with a 24. <laughs> yep. I think, For... I think you've been between 14 and 21 on pretty much every attack. <laughs> As a 18. party today. <laughs> 18? Okay. Um, 
And then a regular t uh no, you know what? I'm gonna make it make a wisdom save for Toll of the Toll of the Dead. Toll the bells? Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead. Uh I got a fourteen, but let me look at what I had. Oh I closed that sheet. It needs a sixteen. Um Road Spider there it is. Wisdom? Yeah. Uh, I only have a plus one, so fifteen. Ah, all right. It's gonna take fucking twenty-one necrotic, twenty-three necrotic damage. How do you want to do it? Um, I mean, you know what? It's all yours. Uh, going with the tolling of the bell, it's gonna like snap its head up as it like starts to uh, starts to hear the Dolores bells fill the air that only it can hear. Everybody else is just like watching this thing start to freak out. It's going to run in a circle for a quick minute, and it's going to turn over and curl its legs up. And die. As it's doing that, it seems like one more attack at you. I rolled a five. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hit you, so I just wanted to get that in. <laughs> if, I had, if I had rolled a 20, I'd have taken it. <laughs> uh, you guys are... Out of combat. Woo! Woo! Take that, filthy spiders. Fuck spiders. And that's literally everything in sight, right? Yes. So we can, like, be as loud as we want. Hearing! Is the dragon still in the hood? Hour? We can't be oh, yeah. as loud as we want. We can't wake sure, up the sure, dragon, sure, sure. but I think it would take a lot to wake up a sleeping dragon. Fair, fair. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to wake a dragon. <laughs> That's a jinx it a, either. A venom um, sack, the dragon. Uh, maybe Anya will go to both spiders and try to collect the venom sacks from them. Okay. To gift him. Um. Okay. Would they have any common potion ingredients? I'm bleeding. Uh, if you wanted to make poisons, you would do what Anya is doing, I would say. Other than that, no. Okay. Maybe she gives one to Corby and one to... But you, you tell me what a roll survival... Oh, yeah, give me a second. Oh, or Give me a second. Survival. wasn't prepared for those. Not the best survival. This is like survivalist. This is more of a thought accounts kind of play. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this website. <laughs> no! Oh, so much beer just went in my dice. Oh, no. Make oh. a nature check for me on him. A nature? Blessed okay. Uh, she got blessing from the Guinness, right? Corby. You Do can, I? You DM? Can give her, you can, Corby can give you a match. <laughs> and I'll remind oh. you before you do anything else or I give you any numbers that you have those D6s to improve your check. How many do we have left of those now? Are we like... I didn't well, roll I mean, you rolled, Crusader rolled two 20s tonight, so there's two. Plus you guys, you guys had quite a few. Let's see if Lawful says anything in check. Let's see this track again. Ah, oh, this beer just was like foam, foam, high foam. Awful <laughs> uh, hasn't said anything in a minute. Clever. Um, what did you say you got, Anya? Sixteen. W without the extra rules. Well, with advantage from Corby. Do you, oh, you want the whole sack? I mean, that's that's just the first spider. Unless you, that wasn't for both. Do you right? have any vials uh, on you? Um, let's take a look, huh? Including uh, Corby. I know Corby has some, but hers might all be called. I have a fuck ton of ball bearings. Let me check. I can give you some of mine. 
So with a, with a, a 16, you're going to break the venom sack to where you can't like store it and carry it and take the whole sack itself, but you can still salvage some of the venom. I have so, one. A, as it breaks, I quickly put my my magic fucking jar under it. To catch ah! It. Heck yeah! Yeah, Ooh. I dig that. That's a specimen jar, so that's bigger than a vial. So ah. I would say that that holds. Um, I imagined it was like, like like the little like uh, growler. Yes, yes. Here. I think yeah, think like uh, you know. I mean, you see the the weird shit on like wizards' tables and movies and stuff where they've got you know little animals in there and shit like that or a lot if you get your appendix removed and you've seen that well, in you a said jar. there was a, a pixie right there was originally yes but you could imagine like so. it's, it's that sort of thing but then it's used uh without it doesn't need to have the fluid in it it just preserves mm -hmm. what's in it it's a preserving jar um it's very useful but not for making jam um no jam or mayonnaise yeah yeah you can't really make that in there <laughs> uh you can store it you make jam can't, mayonnaise, just though. can't make it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have you have what would equate to be three vials of spider venom in your one jar. Okay. Um, she grimaces at her incompetence and goes to the next one and tries to do the next one. Okay. Nature with advantage. With advantage. Okay. Because Corby is helping you. Thank you, Corby. Uh, it's just it's nature, not survival. Okay. Nature's better, actually. Um, so that's yeah. gonna be fourteen. I just double checked. It says nature fourteen. Uh, the same same story. You're not gonna be able to store it as it is, but you can still get what you believe so would I be got three vials. So approximately worth. six vials worth total. It well, this one's broken. You can't store this one. You would need uh, your other one is full. I'm saying your other one can hold three. Your jar. The jar can only hold three. Yeah, vials? it can hold. It can hold up to three vials oh, of, of spider venom. I've got a vial. Well, vials are the same things that she's putting the potions in that you guys have. They're two ounces. Okay. But, but like, a pixie is, like, two feet. <laughs> and if it's folded up... Well, it was magically shrunk, so... A growler is, like, a half gallon, is what I was thinking. That's how I always pictured the, the special jar. Well, I'm well I've I've given you the uh, the same as the what the sack it sack has in it, which is three vials worth. Beautiful. So, I guess you can store more in the one. Whatever I can fill yeah. in the thing. Put six in the one. I ain't, I ain't complaining. Yeah, I'm not trying to either. I, I was just trying to get on the same page in terms of the size of the jar. I don't know. It's a jar. It's a jar yeah, that like, was a random item from the cobalt table that I actually turned into a thing. Mine is lost. <laughs> mine was stolen. Yes, I know. Look, sometimes things happen and they get written into what will happen later. Five pieces of ivory. <laughs> Four. Uh, and you told me you would never forget. It was four, Crusader. I didn't. I just added one. Thought it'd be I funny. Think we think we can get any of the uh, stuff from these beasts. Would that benefit us in our next uh, leg of this trip? And then she like collapses to one knee, kind of breathing heavy for a minute. The druid steps forward, and if you guys look in your NPC tokens, there is an invitation there from him. He has a uh, NPC action. And then there's a secondary thing underneath. Ooh -hoo! Should it be needed. There's a bear-sized hole in his sanctuary, but it is still a place that you guys could gather and rest safely. Like full long rest or short rest? Full rest. Ooh -hoo! That's code for <laughs> what I have planned next. It's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> also, you guys had quite the travel to get Will here. Will that be our third? That'll be our third. It would be your third rest anyway. Right? So if you, if you, back? if you, yeah, it would be anyway. But what he is offering you would be, if you guys only had two, it would still be the full rest sort of thing. Well, you have two. Oh, that's dope. 
He what is, was the Jewish he, name again? I'm so sorry. His name is Radoff, and basically he's offering yeah. you guys to rest in his sanctuary. So you don't need to set watches. Everybody can just get the full rest. We don't have to roll for the encounter that would happen on the night. You are in his sanctuary. Nice. That's All right, what's our party's zombie just... kill count? Oh, zoom out on your map and count them. They're all there. One, two, three. We also killed a zillion. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight, they're still there, nine, too. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm just going to say 30. I feel like I missed one. <laughs> I had 31, so yeah. You had 29, I had 31. 30 it is. Yeah. <laughs> 30 ash zombies. And two ruined spiders. That's a lot of people. Yeah. It's a decent sized town. They're not the people. They want for people. That's, That's true. Know. Right now they're empty necrotic shells filled with malice. A, a dirge not even that. They're that just dust. For the loss. And do it in a way that tries to get the druid's attention and just like, hey, you know, pay attention to like putting the dead rest. And I know they're not an actual part of the order, but uh, the bot humans every, are. Our people are. Every one of the zombies, is. when it was killed, exploded into a puff of ash. So there is nothing left of them. That's this fine. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I'm just sorry. The see. lightning. Uh... <laughs> no, they did that. Anyway. I guess since we're resting, and it might they, actually I'm have time a to dirge, do this. I said. Oh, I thought is you there, said you were doing something with the body. Is there any decent chitin on the no, uh, spiders? No, just playing Song for the Dead. No. You guys have a shit ton of that, though. Is there a thing I could take? Uh, there's not on this list, but... Oh, wait. They were scraping across my armor. They won't get stuck. Yeah, they're not on the list, but... I mean, why would I say no to those? I'm ready to. Most poisons are viable Fireball. for about two weeks, it says right here, Anya. Yours I'm not will ready. last a little much longer. But the specimen jar keeps shit fresh. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yours will be there <laughs> yeah, for much longer. It's so cool. Cheers. <laughs> That's a cool little magic item, huh? <laughs> it, those are the best items, honestly. <laughs> it's just like you get so much juice out of stuff. Like, yeah. it'll be session 200. And you'll be like, I'm still using that. <laughs> I'm like, I got so I much weed. Do you guys want to smoke some weed? No, just... Yeah, that's <laughs> where you want to keep your weed. As soon as you guys find the Nomen Ganj, that's what that jar needs to be used mm. for. See, you got to make sure you really clean it, though. It's from... Maybe you don't, because it's magical. It's from the blood I don't know about order what order smoking spider acid would do to me. <laughs> mason jar. Get you high as fuck. Enhance the high. Or <laughs> just die. What do you think's in Meemaw's moonshine? Just um, scream <laughs> there's spider acid in my skull and then, like, crash. <laughs> Crusader, give me a nature check if you would like to try to harvest something off of this guy. Alright. An 8 plus. I think it's a 5. Nature wisdom? Nature. Ew, is nature wisdom? Is that what you said? Yeah. I'd like to try to get a pair of fangs if I can. Nope, it's intelligence. I got a plus zero on that. So what was your Eight. total? Eight. Uh, no, you get nothing. Um, right. Fangs, yeah, you guys can have You guys can have two, four, four spider fangs. Okay. Um, I'm going to take two. I don't even want to think about how big those are because that's fucking nightmare fuel for me. They're large, right? So like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, you can... <laughs> yeah, does I'm not saying Loin, that. Does Sir Loin have his own bag? Like uh, saddlebags? No, you guys, yeah. would have, you guys would have to create. probably got a cap. Saddlebags is holding? Yeah. He has nothing. Saddlebags is holding. We're not there so yet. Joe's got. Dang it. We also got to give him some armor. Yes, for sure. I want, like, enhanced tusk. Like. I can't get over the perspective of Crusader, <laughs> bitch. Like, you just look like a, like a real hobbit in the background. <laughs> Just because my chair's further back and it's lower. I know, it, it's, like I said, it's perspective. Like, but it's so funny. Or I'm a giant. That too. Exactly. Kind of. <laughs> Hang on, if I go to this cool. one, does it...